Hi, my name is Fatima and I'm talking to you today from Terra Nova Park, National Park in Newfoundland. Uh, we are very happy. We left uh, our place in Ontario three weeks ago and um, I want to give you an update on, um, on my knitting project and also on our trip. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're back, I'm glad to have you together with me in this trip. So it's going to be a short one and I'm going to go directly with what I finished. So if you saw my last episode right uh, before leaving, I had just a little bit of this um, socks done and I worked on it and it's finished and it's for my husband. And I thought I had woven in all the little bits, but I just saw a little bit today. But now my husband can wear it. Um, we're having a a heat wave now so we don't want it <laughs> to wear anything wool. The first week we were here I was focusing on the socks in the car and then I was um, doing my second sleeves but then we we were in Quebec for five days and we got it got cold so I said wow I didn't bring any sweaters and this sweater doesn't have the buttons and it's a light sweater and my other fair isle sweater is um, it's not going to be ready so I stopped my second sleeve where it is it's the Norbu it's very pretty so I have to do just a little bit more and I will be able to start joining uh, the body to the sleeves to do the top and uh, funny enough, I started to watch again the um, fruit knitting podcast and they are, I am on episode four and she's talking about the Norbu that she was knitting. So that's pretty good. And because it was cold, I thought, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to do like Arnie and Carlos. Uh, Arnie is always doing uh, leftover yarn sweaters and I thought I'm going to do one with whatever I have because I didn't find exactly what I had to do. So what I did with the sweaters is I I used a variegated yarn to do some fair aisle and what I thought I, I, I saw some variegated yarn used as fair aisle. This is cool because you have less ends to weave in and but I think when you do that, I saw some that turned out really good. I think this one, um, you lose a little bit of the fair, fair aisle design when you're doing it, but it turned out okay. And what I did is after that, I had, I think almost 500 grams of, of this hand spun yarn. Everything here is hand spun. So I decided to, to use it more. I don't like to do sleeves so I didn't want to lose too much time uh, working on that so I reduced a little bit here but then I reduced a bunch here and I used the other yarn to do like a ribbon bottom part of the arm because that would be fast and it would adjust to my body I ended it with the um, bind off that and got her and bud uses for socks because I want this next episode oh, it will be finished and then you see I wanted this to to be a little bit longer and then to open that's why I chose this bind off when I was doing the sweater i I decided to do a detail under the arm and I went on with the detail here uh, the other thing is because I don't like to weave in ends, I decided to weave in ends while I was knitting. So mostly now what I have to do is just to cut the, the ends because I wove them in. If you see here, this is the middle part and I have one on this side and the other on the side. I just have to cut it. Um, the other thing that I did is because I thought it was still too short and I like longer sweaters, right? Um, I used up, I, I added these stripes here 
and by doing this I got one two three four five one two three four five so I added um, a little bit more than an inch to my sweater and I'm happy because I wanted it long so now I am just doing the um, the ribbon in the bottom that I'm doing one by one as this except on this side that I'm following this the, this pattern here to the rib so it's almost done um, and I'm glad because now I have a, a sweater almost done to swear to wear so so this is what I have on of knitting and I have I didn't touch my my fair aisle uh, sweater that I did the, the hood but the thing is uh, priorities first right um, my husband was uh, taking pictures I think it was in Nova Scotia and or it was here in in the oops, gross morning park the dogs are here I'm holding them and when he was there he came back and he was always saying look at my hands they're so cold so I decided that next project when I finish the sweater is going to be some gloves that have uh, the fingers open but with that thing to cover so that he can go and take pictures everywhere so this is it for knitting uh, about the trip so we left to Ontario um, almost three weeks ago we spent five days um, in Quebec and it was a, a marina we parked there because in Quebec all the trailer parks are completely full and we normally don't plan our trips very much we just wing it we go with the flow and and we work as it is so we got there a parking lot uh, at the marina that had parking areas for trailers and we stayed there for five days because I need to work so I work from 8 to, to 2 and then after that we go and enjoy the area that we are except on, on Sundays like today weekends right but the good thing is that our trailer has uh, a water solar heater so we were there there was a lot of Sun and we were able to get um, hot showers just with the solar heater that was really amazing and we also have some solar panels and that gives us um, enough for me to work the refrigerator and everything so we stayed a week there my husband did two videos that I'm going to put the link below one is about the marina and and the other is about the um, an aisle that used to be the quarantine place for people coming um, to Canada and it was being used for a hundred years I think it ended not long ago um, so it's very interesting um, and you learn a, lot, a little bit about history and it's it's talk it talks uh, mostly about the Irish people coming here uh, during the famine in Europe so it's very interesting after that um, we left Quebec we just cruised through New Brunswick and we stopped in Nova Scotia and we were in Sydney Nova Scotia because we wanted to get the boat to Newfoundland Newfoundland was our uh, main goal here um, so when we called to book the boat uh, to Newfoundland there was no more space but luckily while we were on the phone we got um, a cancellation and we were able to come so in Nova Scotia we stayed there I think four days but uh, we just did a little bit of the um, Cabo Trail the end of Cabo Trail close to Sydney uh, because we had done that before we had camped that maybe 10 or 13 years before um, but that area we didn't explore so this was good we had uh, a, a weekend day there we just went for the day and stayed at a beautiful place uh, parking uh, camp parking uh, place that was really nice so after that we got the boat and we were a little bit concerned about our dogs so there are two boats that you can two ferry boats that you can get uh, from Nova Scotia to Newfoundland 
One is seven hours and the other is 16 hours. We took the seven hours uh, one because of the dogs and they, they have an area for the dogs and we stayed with them all the time. And luckily for us, there was only another little dog. So they were off the, the cages and just with us and seven hours passed very fast. It was okay. So um, when we got to, New, to Newfoundland, they say Newfoundland, but they say Newfoundland. Um, and I think that's because of the, the Vikings that they called this island Finland. Um, so people say Newfoundland, even though it's written Newfoundland. Um, so we have been here and um, the biggest problem on the west side is that if you are in the park we went to the Grossmore morning park that I wanted to be there but the problem there is the internet is really bad and I need to work so we stayed there the the weekend and then we noticed that by the ocean it's great you can park so we stayed um, a few days right in front of the beach it was beautiful then we went to the Viking Trail um, to Lanz Omido, that is a place that they have rebuilt um, one Viking settlement as it used to be before. And they also have a trail there, Mihai filmed and he's doing a video on that, but it's not on yet. Uh, but that was beautiful. We felt like we wanted to stay there. It, it is gorgeous. And they had a really nice trail in, in the park and sort of museum that we went. And after that now, we, we are going towards um, St. John's because we are going to get our, our ferry boat back in Porto Basque, where we left. So Porto Basque is here. We're going to St. John's and then we're coming back to Porto Basque because we want to get the seven hour trip, not the 16 hours. And on the way, there is this Terra Nova Park that we are going to be here for three days. We check the internet. We have internet. Um, internet through all the highways is good. We have been boondocking in some areas. Like for this park, we just got a uh, vacancy today. So yesterday we boondocked close by. And we are good with that. Our trailer has the solar panels, so we have hydro. We have everything. They had good interaction, internet reception where we were. Life is good. Um, Miha is going to put some clips of everything. I hope you enjoyed. It's a quick one. Love you guys. I'm very grateful you were there. I'm very grateful I'm here. And see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.